The third truth that Centering Prayer rests on is the idea of our fallen nature, our false self, or the Bible calls it the sinful nature. And this is three buckets. Uh, it's programs for happiness that we've developed over our lifetimes rooted in our minds. And it's the unhealthy need for control over life situations. It's the unhealthy need for affirmation or esteem, and it's the unhealthy need for comfort or security. And these were developed, they grew in us because our valid needs to be loved, to express ourselves, our identity, and to be safe were violated at some point, or at least we perceived them to be violated in our childhood and subsequent years. And we, so we developed compensatory energy centers to go and find um, those needs met outside of God. And these three correlate exactly to Christ's three temptations and also in 1 John chapter 2 where it says the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. So centering prayer is at the intersection between this false fallen self that's controlling us through our thought processes and our spiritual nature that's born again, that has the presence of God living in it of which the bandage is now being removed and the spiritual nature begins to assert itself in our lives. And so we're there in centering prayer, we're calling out to God, we're saying, God, I desire your presence and your action within me through your sacred word. And then in come the bombarding thoughts. Um, and those reflect that those other energy centers looking for, the, hey, no, Rob needs his meat, need, to be met through thinking about how he's going to make money. And then over here, I'm saying, no, I desire God's presence and his action within me. And, and that battle is an amazing battle because the true self, our spiritual nature, where God lives, is beginning to win, to assert dominance over our false self as we make that choice time and time again through our sacred word, to say, yes, I desire God's presence and his action within me. That's the process of transformation. That's the process of spiritual awakening. And it's a journey. That's a spiritual journey that will take your entire lifetime. But what's happening is you're shedding and you're rewiring uh, the false self and you receiving the life of God. You have been You have seen